In our last video, our van conversion skills proved to be insufficient for installing our Illuminus gear on our Sprinter van conversion. After struggling to install our Nerf bars, we called up our friend Justin at Site7 in Chattanooga and dropped off our van to get a little help with the installation process, which is where we'll pick up today. Had to rent a car because our van's in the shop. You already knew that. yet this year. I'm not a big pumpkin fan. I am. I do without. I do without peanut butter because of you. I do without pumpkin. She does it with peanut butter without me because I'm allergic. You're allergic to every kind of nut. Sad life I lead. Except for donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the first time you've told that joke Probably. on this channel. Probably not. Anyway, all right, let's get a pumpkin spice latte. We are on our way to go pick up our van. We just got a call from Justin at Site 7 and he is finished installing all the Illuminous gear. All right, West Coasters, you know what coffee huts are. Those little drive-through coffee stands. I We loved them. We fell in love with them out in Washington. Like you just drive up and you can't go inside or anything. It's just drive-through coffee stands. They're simple, they're cheap, they're a great coffee. Chattanooga got their first coffee stand and it's right down the street from where we've been living and I'm so excited. We've been there a lot lately. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> <Dag> basic. <laughs> Judge me. Oh, look at this. The Nerf bars. Look. It works. It's right where it's supposed to be. See? Sometimes it pays to go to a pro. Pain in the rear end. Check it out. Justin actually installed our brush guard from Illuminous in as well. I'll be honest, this van's gonna look really intense. It's pretty cool. Change of plans. Justin is not able to do the AC today, but that's okay because I finally have the parts from the Illuminous ladder that we showed in the last video, and now I'm gonna install it. Illuminous finally mailed these. Here, look at this. So this right here, this is what we were missing in our ladder kit. It goes on the roof rails. So Illuminous finally sent these back, and now I'm gonna put the ladder on. So the top of the ladder is finished. Now I have to do the bottom of the ladder. Here's a pro tip. If you are installing the Nerf bars and a ladder from Illuminous, make sure you do the ladder first. Since we had some trouble with the Nerf bars, what I did is I went ahead, here, let me show you. I went ahead and installed this plate right here that goes to the ladder so we wouldn't have to fight with it once these Nerf bars were installed. Basically what happens is you just line the ladder up to where you want it and bolt it down. Pretty nice. I think you should try it out first. I think you should try it out. How off. much faith do you have in your uh, 
Why should I be the one to try it out? Okay, how how good do you feel about your installation? I feel very good about my installation. Like on a scale of one to 10, I what mean, are my chances of breaking a leg when I step on this thing? Probably a seven out of 10. All right, give that a go. How you feel? I feel tall. Today's like the first really cold fallish day here in Tennessee. So it seems fitting that we need to install the AC unit. So before we install this, I wanted to show you what came in the box. This is our AC unit by Nomadic Cooling. Nomadic Cooling is based in Phoenix, so we figured they probably know something about air conditioning. So what came inside the box? We have the AC unit. We have these rails where the AC unit's gonna be sitting on. We have all our nuts and washers and screws. We have this pretty handy remote. It's actually a, it's a pretty nifty AC remote. Then we have this plate and that's really it. There's not a whole lot that came in the box, so it looks like a pretty easy install, and that's what we're about to find out. We're about to install the AC unit, and so first, we need to cut a hole in the van. Justin went on the roof, measured where on the roof we need to put it, came inside the van, decided where we're going to put it inside the van, measured here, went back to the roof, measured there, came back in the van, measured here. Number one piece of advice before cutting anything into a van, Measure like 50 times and then cut once. So they just finished cutting the hole in the roof of the van and we're putting our AC towards the back of it so you can see it right there. Um, it'll be right up there in the bed. Hi. <laughs> um, they're gonna seal around it where they just cut the metal. Probably doesn't need it, but just to be safe with rust, that kind of thing. So, I'm gonna seal that up, and then I think we're gonna put the AC on. They're bringing the AC, oh, here they come. Uh, go towards the back. If you want to go back, you can too. There's plenty of room. We're trying to get you know the gasket as close to the hole as possible. So this is it. So we'll keep it watertight. Oh yeah. So you see it? Looks good. So simple wiring. Should it be too difficult? Nice little wiring harness there, but it'll bolt into the ceiling mount right here with these screws. So we have a problem. There's a leak in the ceiling. So we just did the water test. We didn't glue or do anything. We just used the gaskets that came with the AC unit. And it's a pretty hard gasket. So there's not really a lot of flexibility. The water is pouring in right at this little bump. If you can see that, this bump right there. That's where the water's coming in. So we'll probably have to dry it all off take this out, lift the AC unit up again, and then glue or something to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Our AC unit is officially installed. 
uh, not all the way. We went with the Nomadic Cooling and we, if you guys remember, we did an unboxing video, I think it was back in July, where we had purchased a Nomadic Penguin too. We would show you what it looks like right now, but it's a hundred pounds and I can't lift it. We could, we just don't feel like it. And at the time, we thought that was the AC we were gonna go with. We had heard great reviews. And if you've gone with the Nomadic Penguin 2, it's a good AC unit. But after talking to Justin at Site 7, he actually recommended the Nomadic Cooling, which is a little bit of a newcomer on the scene, but they're more designed specifically for fans. You can put them in an RV or anything you want. And on the inside, you won't be able to see this yet. What? Slow. They're a true 12 volt AC unit, which if you know anything about electricity means it's gonna be able to run a little bit more efficiently. We've also talked to AM Solar. They're changing out a couple of parts in our system. Like we said, we're not great at doing, tutor we're not great at doing tutorial videos because things do change along the way. We're just kind of taking you guys along the ride. This is gonna be a very efficient AC unit. The footprint on top of the roof is really not gonna be any different than the Dometic would have been. I think this one is a little bit wider, but maybe a little bit, like the width is a little bit wider, but the length is a little bit shorter. And then the height is about the same, but the weight is significantly different. Unlike most AC units, it's gonna be flush with a ceiling almost. There's not gonna be any losing headroom of a couple of inches, which when you have a lofted bed is really important. Having every inch of headroom is very important. You'll learn that very quickly. We didn't hit our head very often on the ceiling, but when it does happen, it's not fun. So if we can, uh, if we can eliminate having anything extra hanging down and get as much maximum headroom as possible, that'll be awesome. So this, We'll be, we're gonna do the front side, the interior side, where you can actually see the vents of how it's gonna blow out through the ceiling. This will be installed once we start getting our ceiling up, which we can't do that yet. Um, probably here in the next month or so. I mean, depends on how things are moving. It's going kind of slow. But once we get the ceiling starting to go in, we can mount that front panel right on the front there. So stay tuned. And we got this cool box by Luminous installed. So excited about this. All right, so I sanded the AC unit down just to kind of give it a little bit more texture so hopefully the paint will stick a little bit better. That's done. We're gonna wipe it down one more time so there's no dirt or anything like that. Once it's dry, we're gonna Plasti Dip it, which really is like a plastic kind of paint. So we're gonna paint it with Plasti Dip and then let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow morning, we'll come back out and then spray the inside too because we don't want to be able to see through to like any white on the inside. We want the whole thing to be black. This looks so good. That looks really good, Sarah. <laughs>